Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Little Gator Game. Now this was developed by Mega Wobble, published by Playtonic Friends and is usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99 but it is actually on Xbox Game Pass now so as you always get your Game Pass on. Okay so this is uh, basically plays as a sort of open world, it's an adventure game where you, you basically help some friends, do some stuff, and uh, yeah, it's job done. We are the little the little helper of life. Um, yeah, well, you'll see in just a minute how the game plays. It's very easy, it is uh, quite relaxed. The only thing is th uh, there is no in-game map or anything, so sometimes it may be a little bit disorientating if you do get lost, uh, but it'll still be fine. Now, as for achievements... Uh, we won't be getting a lot for the first sort of hour or so. Um, we're just going to go through the main quest, and then there's going to be a whole bunch of miscellaneous ones we can get, because after we do the main quest, um, we'll be able to get um, a couple of specific items, which will come in mega handy, um, such as locating things and everything. So uh, this will take about three to four hours, mainly because of the loot and things that we got to grab. So with that being said then... Let's do it! Now we start off, we go behind, go past all of the playground, the seesaws and everything, head up and you're going to see your old big sister. Now, we're going to chat to big sis, big sis, I'm exclamation mark board, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Uh, but you can just keep spamming the A button in order to just nip it out. So slam through the dialogue, that's what we're going to do, uh, is just slam through the dialogue ever so quickly. Um, but I'm going to be explaining for the first uh, sort of 10 minutes or so here um, what these sort of main things are in the game. So uh, make up a name. Anything's all good. I'm going to go with Mr. Al Gator Aids or Al E Gator Aids for, uh, you know, if you want a full name. Hey, nothing wrong with this one, I don't think, is it? As long as I spelled uh, Aids not the way that I think I'm going to spell it. Ah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. Alligator Aids. So if you're an alligator, I'm sorry, you've got AIDS. Uh, but yeah, so, <laughs> sorry. So pop your name down, whatever one you want. And then we should be good to go. So again, just slam through the dialogue. So for this first sort of quest then, we've just got to help out Jill, Martin and Avery. So there's Jill, the dog, Martin, the crocodile, and Avery is, uh, is he the monkey? I forget which one he is, but anyway. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head forward and sort of slightly to the right here and go to these sort of picnic benches. Now, uh, you're going to speak to Jill and what you're going to see is basically like these cardboard, there's no enemies in the game, you can't die or anything, but these little cardboard drawings or whatever that's the loot that i'm talking about so for now we're going to head down the path you can't actually uh, hit anything with them yet so up the rocks we go and then eventually we're gonna find a little weapon that we can grab thing get thing get point point stick so uh what you can do then is press the b button in order to yep smash stuff now, there is obviously a lot of loot throughout these games. So anytime you see any of these, like, cardboard-drawn creatures, make sure to give them a whack and get as much crafting items as you can because we do need to buy all the craft items in the game. Plus, we need about 3,000. Um, uh, right after the main game, yeah. So we need about 3,000 as well after the main game in order to get uh, a couple more achievements and stuff like that. So, yeah. So anytime, like I said, it can be any one of these monsters. It can be some of those sticks as well. Just if it looks like a crude cardboard drawing, uh, just give it a whack. So once you have destroyed these four, so that's all I'm going to say about the loot. Now, obviously, uh, as we can now speak to Jill, that'll be the first one done. 
Now, obviously, this game, it's a small map, but, um, yeah, there is a lot of loot. So, my advice would be, we are going to, as we are now going to go ahead and find Martin, we're going to stick with the main quests and not try and go off the sort of main path looking for loot, which I've done too many times. Um... So the only time that I'll tell you to sort of nip around the, uh, and grab the loot is in an area if it's, you know, if you're just going to stay in that same area rather than deviate off and then you get a bit lost trying to come back, if you know what I mean. Like I said, this game has no in-game map. So, yes, that is a bit of a pain. Right. So once we have, what we're going to do now is going to head back up the way where we got the stick. And there's going to be a new character we're going to speak to. Um, I think there's a little bit of loot down here as well. So we're just going to grab these bits of loot by the water. Again, as long as you're sort of on the main path, um, you know, going off ever so slightly like this, it, it's fine. But don't go off too much because, uh, <laughs> you know, you'll get lost. Right then, Chucks. Once you've got the loot, head back up, and then we are going to go ahead and speak to Penguin Head up here. And he's basically... Oh, it's Franny. Hey, old Franny bags. Where's your Franny bag? Um, but yes, uh, we're going to get a wooden sword, which just helps things, help things along, I guess. Yeah. There we go. So if you want to have a look at your inventory and your other things, just press the select button. Yes, I will die on this hill. It's always going to be the select button. Uh, there's a little bit of loot here in front of us as well. So like I said, just grab everything and grab as much as you can if it's in your way. And then whichever way you've gone there, if you sort of went the same way as me, it's we're just by the picnic benches there by Jill. But if you take a left, we're going to go over the bridge now. So we'll take a uh, say take a left. Now we're going straight up over the hill. What we're going to do is go ahead and find Martin in this area. But as you'll see, sometimes I will nip off to the right, sometimes I nip off to the left just to grab some loot. We end up having to grab all of the loot in the game anyway, but uh, Jill, at the end of the main game, will basically help us with the locations and tell us where they all are. Now, these character things, they're just, um, I don't know what they are. You can speak to them, but they just sort of say a sentence and, yeah, they're just like nothing. You can't beat them, you can't kill them, you can't do anything. They just stand there going, ah, Randy Marsh style. So, uh, again, just uh, grabbing a uh, bit of loot here right up in, well, what was in front of us there, basically on the big wooden ledge to the top right. That is where we're going to need to go and speak to Martin and do his little quest.
So as it turns out, then we need the pot. Martin needs some pot. <laughs> um, he's more like Stone Jack Horseman, isn't he? Right. So the pot is just up this little um, little cliffside, whatever you want to call it. So once you've got Martin's pot, return it to him. But again, just have a little look down. There's going to be some loot all in this area. We've got a shield right so if you press the white button there you can go on the shield So what you can do now is if you press that red button um, You can <laughs> It's basically like a little race where you can get some more loot now as you can see just follow the signs until you get to the bottom Once you have hit the checkered flag that means more loot for us baby Plus you can use your shield to go across the water um, and just jump it, it does make things slightly quicker because, um, you know, Little Gator, or my Alligator Aids, kind of looks like he's got a, uh, I don't know, looks, he walks like he's got a log in his pants or something. Or is that always how croc uh, alligators work? Well, maybe we'll either see him later or see him in a while. Uh, so there's another one here. This is what we're just going to nip down this one as well, just to grab even some more loot. Ooh, see that bounce of life there? That doesn't help the, the old log in the pants, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we basically have to go and find Avery, who is the frog bird something or other. Man, why can't I bloody remember? Anyway, he is basically going to be on the top of the mountain. So if we just jump across here onto this bit of water. Um, also, you can climb up things um, by just going into the wall. And we're going to get a lot of stamina bracelets in order to get some infinite stamina. So... Uh, what we'll do, we're going to jump down here, and there should be quite a bit of loot all in these. Like I said, wherever you go, there's always going to be loot that you can find. Um, if you've already come through this way, I think we've already gotten the little bits of loot in this section. But again, all we're doing, we're going to be jumping up and finding Avery. He's going to be next to a food stall where we have to, uh, yeah, let's just find him. Let's just find the guy. So always be on the lookout as well for pots. We'll give you a good bit of loot. And chests will give you a bigger bit of loot as well. Um, yeah, so these things, I don't know what the hell they are, but they're just... Maybe the ghosts. Maybe they're the ghosts of... Tsushima. Tsushima. Oh, here is the monkey, by the way. So this is the first out of four bracelet staminas that we're going to get. Again, you shouldn't be able to miss him. He's, uh, you know, he's on the way to Avery anyway. So once you've sp spoken to him... Uh, you've got to make sure that you have a good... Oh, didn't mean to press um, no. I meant to press yes. So you... Uh, I can't remember. No, it's 100 first. So it's 100 loot for the first bracelet. And then the other three bracelets are going to be 500 each. So always make sure, like I said, that you're smashing out as much loot as possible. There's a lot of expensive crap in this game. So if you just go towards the wall, you will start climbing it. Uh, but we're going to head across the little waterfall here. And as you can see, the little blue icon, the little blue circle represents your stamina. Once it's run out, well, you know what stamina is. That'll start flying down, 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 down. So, now let us continue climbing upwards. And we're going to be coming up to our first... Uh, if we speak to this guy thing, raccoon thing right here. So, this is a... Friend, now what you have to do, every anytime you see characters that are sort of roaming around, interact with them, complete their very short mini quest, mini game. It's very, a lot of the time it's just, please get rid of these pots and everything around me. They'll be a friend and they will go back to um, the main area, which the main area is going to be the park. So you need, I think in total, like pff, maybe 30, 35 friends in order to get the park fully built, uh, fully built, sorry, not fully built, as we take a left and head up here. Again, just having a look um, uh, for loot as we're continuously climbing up. Um, so, 
yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, at the end of the game, you can get as a, once you've done the main game, you're going to get something off Avery in order to find the rest of the uh, friendly sort of secondary characters. But yeah, so anytime you see anyone, um, see any one of these, such as this giraffe here, for instance, um, give him a little help, and uh, that's a job done. You speak, you you help them, you do their job again. They and you'll get it on screen. Then uh, you've been a. Um, a friend has relocated to the park, which, of course, we're not there yet. We will get there to eventually. So, again, what we're doing here, we're just grabbing a few pots and everything. You can see the blue circle. If you haven't figured it out, that is your little stamina bar. We need to grab four of these, uh, four of these uh, rings off the monkey in order to get infinite stamina, which we will get in each little area. Uh, chests have a lot, as I said. As I've said before, chests do have a lot of loot in them. Uh, so it's literally, for the moment, just a case of continuing climbing up and just having a look around for loot while we head towards Avery. So yeah, I think I've already said it, but yeah, when you're going looting, again, don't worry if you don't have the exact same amount as me, but try and be roughly about the same, even if a little bit less, even a little bit more, but don't deviate off the main path too much because it can be easy to get lost. Here's Avery, the old frog face, so speak to him finally, and then we will go back to the park where we uh, spoke to Jill, and then we'll speak to everyone, and then the main, main quests can be in. Right, so what you can do then, press select, go once to the right to get your pointy floppy thing. <laughs> Not seeing anything more than that. It's a hundred loots, so uh, interact with that. And that's all we're going to buy off the craft menu for now. Again, the rest of it we will get at the very, very end of the game. Um, so now, you can obviously, what you can do here is either uh, check the path on my screen now of how to get to the uh, back to the area that we need to go to and then go off looting if you uh, so wish or you can just carry on now um, wait until we get to the first main quest obviously it, it is completely up to you how you want to play the game but as i said there is a lot of loot that you can and we will need to grab uh yeah so pff, it's tricky but yeah Anyway, there is also the next friend that we're going to be grabbing here in this area. And remember Simon, where he got pushed down? He is right there. So, again, if you want to do a little bit of looting, which I... Uh, now, I've edited it down slightly, because it is just five minutes, five, six minutes of me just looting around. But if you just want to go all in this area... Again, I'm still in the same area that I was. Um, but, again, if you want to just go ahead, grab as much loot as you possibly can... And then come up, come back up here and speak to Simon. He's going to ragdoll off. Um, again, this is another one we're going to get an achievement for later on. And good. You landed on your head, blood. Uh, I don't think you're good. But, uh, yeah, see, you just... I don't know what you're doing, standing still like a... God damn. No. Anyway, he gives us the ragdoll ability, which is exactly what we want, again, in order for an achievement later on. So, uh, yeah, from here, like I said, if you have looted absolutely everything um, or looted as much as you can, then we can just crack on basically to the middle of the park. Or if not, um, well, have a little uh, have a little look and loot around look. There is loads of stuff that we're going to be grabbing. And, yeah. 
another pot, another couple of pots actually, just kicking up. So yeah, I'm on about, yeah, so just under 1,200 a minute. So again, as I said, just try and get on, just try and get onto this as much as you can. We're going to do, a, uh, going to be doing quite a bit of looting, as I said. And so, after completely deviating off the path many times there, we are back into the water area where we found Martin and done his tiny little quest. Um, but again, it is so easy, uh, you know, in terms of getting lost, you can always have a look sort of where you are by the environment and things in the distance. Um, it's, it's, it's an easy map to get used to, but again, it's easy to get lost because there is no in-game map, as I said. So once we've uh, headed to the right past the Martin sort of area, we are back now at the picnic area where Jill was sat. So if you continue going forward and then left, not from there, um, but it's basically... So where we are now, if you head to the right off the fence, off the bridge, that is where all of the characters are. Um, but yeah, so... It, uh, as I said, in terms of the loot, it's completely up to you how you want to play. You can either follow along just with the main quest and then crack on with the rest later. Or you can go off exploring and just smash as much loot out as you can. Um, either way, we're going to get it all anyway. Uh, but obviously there is the couple of reasons. A uh, couple of... Uh, bleh, I don't even know what I'm saying. So, looting up. Uh, and again, if the more you loot, obviously the less you have to do at the end of the game. So... It's a win-win. Right, so there is everyone then, just by the little waterfall. Uh, return to Big Sis, and this is where the main, main, main quests start to be glin. Tommy! I know basically every girl on the planet has um, had Tom come at least once a month. Yes, you know who Tom is. Time of month! <laughs> See? I made a... I made a joke about women's blood. No, that's... Uh, no, that stinks. Not the... Not the blood bit, just the whole joke. Sorry. Anyway, so what you can do then uh, is head across the water. That's what we're going to do now. Just checking out for some more... Uh, you can jump across the water as well, just looking for some more loot. And what you're heading for is basically that big, massive, um, what looks like a broadcast tower uh, in the distance. Um, but here, we do have a friend. Now, again, I, I'm still in the same area. I just went off and grabbed a little bit more loot. But once you've grabbed what you can, go ahead and speak to this uh, Esther right here. And you can just literally just pick the top option there. And that's uh, another friend. So again, like I said, these random characters, uh, if you see one, make sure to go ahead and speak to them and do the little quest as well, because they all come in handy, especially later on. Uh, underneath here is a little chest as well, underneath these big sort of rock piles, which would have had loot on them as well. Uh, but once you've done that, then you can go and speak to Mr. Foxy, <laughs> Mr. Foxy Big Eyes, old zoo. Um, now, what you could do is actually just press the left bumper and you can throw the rocks. You can also put something in for the right bumper as well. Um, and then, obviously, the more weapons and the, the more everything you have, you can just change them around. So speak to Zhu again, and that's another friend. That's six now. Should be on six. 
uh, providing that you spoke to those two. The other four are obviously Tom and Jill and everyone. So again, climbing up um, straight in front of us there, and we're just going to do a little bit more looting of the rootin'. Rootin' tootin' looting. Okay, so again, just continue keeping going up. There's going to be another friend that we can grab. Um, and basically, just wants to get... He wants you to get rid of everything um, off all of the sides. So again, obviously, you can use your newfound... Um, you can stand on the branches, use your newfound rock as well. So again, remember, it's the left bumper. Um, and then, once you've gotten rid of them all, speak to Penelope again. And that is another friend. Ooh, friends. Right, mate. Cheers, Pen Pen. You are a legend. Uh, get it? Anyway, uh, make sure to grab the loot there just by the river as well. Always worth, like I said, grabbing everything that you can on the way so you don't have to keep coming back later on. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you should potentially be on roughly the same as me. Again, it doesn't really matter for now, but towards the end of the game it will matter quite a bit more. So as we continue heading forward, this is where we are going to start Jill's main quest. Again, she's going to be on a bench. And once you've spoken to her, so it begins. <laughs> ah. Or something. Okay, so we got to do some distracting of some kids who are prepping up. Now, uh, you don't actually have to whack the books off. I just decided to be a little gator douchebag. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. First things first, we're going to go... There's two bridges. We are going to take the... In fact, I, I'm just swiping grass for some reason. Let's not swipe grass, is it? There we go. So we're going to go ahead now and speak to uh, this uh, ram. Yeah, that'll do it. So, again, what we have to do then, in order to complete this, we have to find a mining ore. Which is basically just like a good-looking rock. And where the beach ore is, what we can do, we can uh, follow the water. You don't have to worry about slicing grass, it doesn't give you any loot. Uh, so, to continue forward, continue forward. Uh, just, again, always just checking if there's a little bit of loot up here, which they taint. But if we drop... Down, you can see it now straight in front of us. There it is. Time to give the ore back to Suzanne. So you literally, if we just climb up the wall behind us here and then continue on going straight, we will find the middle of the park path thing. Then let's give it back, and then she's gonna she's gonna want you to hit it slightly. So we're gonna hit whack snap and slip and do it fast and then do it slow.
teens with big red puffy eyes. Where have we seen that before? Oh, right. When we were all teenagers too. Yeah. Right, anyway, if we go under the tree following the exclamation mark here, we're going to speak to uh, Antone. I thought he was more Antoine, but it is Antone. So he's basically going to give us a job where we have to try and find this bug, and then we're just going to chase this bug back. Yep, this one right here, it's a stag beetle, huh? Yeah, it looks uh, staggy and quite beetly. Uh, anyway, now what I ended up doing very foolishly was once we found the bug, now I advise you to once you find the bug, just follow that bug wherever he goes until it's back in Antoine's possession or Antoine, whatever you want to bloody call him. What I ended up doing rather foolishly was again, just going off the beaten path, grabbing a load of loot. And then I was like, ah, bruh, I've lost the goddamn bug. So yes, that's uh, that's a pain. So if we just head across into this sort of forested area, uh, just across basically where uh, Suzanne was, who we done the uh, got the magic ore for. Drop down here, you're going to see these two squirrel dude things, whatever. Uh, there's some loot on the... Uh, you might as well grab this while we're here as well. All right, pig, that'll do, that'll do. So, uh, <laughs> get back up of yourself. Like I said... If there's loot that's like literally just a tiny bit there, that's fine. Uh, but don't go... Now, again, this took me 10 minutes of trying to find this bug again because I went completely off the path trying to find all this loot and went nuts. So, again, highly advised, just follow the bug. Keep following the bug wherever he goes. You're never going to be able to catch him. Uh, so you're literally just chasing him until it is back in Antoine's possession. So as you can see... Now, I can see where the bug is. It's literally right up there. So I, that this time I didn't mind just nipping off. But it is in just a little bit where I, uh, yeah. Yeah, in fact, it's uh, I think it's pretty much now where I decide to uh, nip off. But he basically, uh, right in front of us, he's going to end up on a rock. Yep. So instead of doing what I'm doing here, just follow the bug to the left until he gets back in Antoine's possession. So silly, silly Mr. Welsh gear. But yes, the only reason that I've kept this in is because I end up uh, grabbing that pot right there, just grabbing a new friend. That's the only reason that I've kept this in. But as I said, it's uh, I highly advise then just going, uh, following the bug until he gets back to Antoine and then coming back and around here and smashing all the loot. That is the much preferred thing. So if you were wondering where he was, he is um, just on this rock. So where the zebra kind of thing, <laughs> where the zebra kind of guy was, uh, if we go back on ourselves just to the water next to these sort of tables and everything. And he is going to be, now there's a couple of friends that we can grab, but we're going to grab that, uh, grab them a little bit later on. So we do apologize. There he is. Look, so he's not on a rock, he's on a log, sorry. Um, so I do apologize that uh, about this part of the video, but if you'd just, uh, if you, just carried on following the bug like I told you to. You shouldn't have had any problems. Not like me, who done foolish, silly things. Right, so anyway, uh, <laughs> whichever one you're doing now, uh, do a good bit of looting before we start the next quest. Or if you were like me and you've already looted, whichever way you're doing it, make sure that you do, like I said, have done a little bit of looting anyway. So, last thing to do for Jill's quest, we're going to head up 
the treehouse, and we are going to speak to little squirrel boy, who is actually a little cat. Genie. Gene. He's the meme gene. He's not a genius, but he's more of a cream meme. Meh. <laughs> I don't even know what a cream meme is. Right, so anyway, uh, we're going to be doing a, obviously, a couple of things. Uh, we've got to find a yellow tri triangle, which is basically a cheese sandwich, and it's hidden in some loot. So we'll jump across the uh, path right here. And there's going to be a whole bunch of loot that we're going to grab. Uh, again, this is fine to grab these. You're not going off the main path, so just smash all these loot as much as you can. And just before we nip off where we need to go, we're just going to go ahead and speak to this guy, Eva. Oh, this girl, sorry, Eva. Uh, but we can't actually climb up to that tree yet. But we've got the quest. We know what to do now. So we'll come back to that a little bit later. So we are going to head, uh, continue heading up the uh, this little wooden... Wooden, it's not wooden, is it? Uh, just keep heading up this hill, grabbing all the loot that we can, and then eventually we're going to see, <clears throat> excuse me, see this rocky bridge, which is just to our left. But again, smash all the loot down first. And in fact, it is while we are in here, this is where we're going to find the quest, the half a cheese sandwich. I'm pretty sure it is here every time as soon as you knock those ones off. So if you just look behind you, it's uh, close to the bridge, the sort of rocky bridge. Well, it's it, yeah, it is close enough, but um, yeah. So again, just there it is. Look, so just from that big, massive rocky bridge, that is uh, just in case you were wondering where exactly it was. Uh, but again, it's always worth just grabbing all these loot, so it just saves you having to come back uh, here a little bit later on. So grab all these, and then we can go across the bridge, and then get all the rest of those loots. And while we're here, we're going to go grab these three broski friends, make them our friends, but yes. So all we've got to do then is talk to them, and we just have to give specific snacks to specific people, because apparently they're so stupid they can't do it themselves. So, uh, the guy on the right, old hawk face, old bird eyes right here, Sorin, uh, you're going to give him the apple slices. So make sure to choose apple slices, and then for B Brittany, uh, funny, in the middle. Lasagna. Who doesn't love a good lasagna? And for the guy on the left, row, row, row your boat. Go ahead and give him some, uh, I mean, he says chips, but what he means is crisps, of course. Because, as we all know, chips are actually fries. Crisps are crisps. Crisps are not chips. Uh, anyway, that's the uh, American versus UK debate. And then I think Australians call them something altogether different. Do they? Australians, help me out. But I do like your language, and I do like everything. I do like everything Australian. Anyway, once you've grabbed that, um, we've got all the friends. We can obviously just head back now to, uh, what's his face? Gene, which should be in the sort of middle of the uh, little, it looks like a little playground area. So again, just follow the path and uh, follow the water around. Head up, talk to Gene. You've given him his triangle. It's all good in the hood.
Don't just turn around, drop down, tell Jilligan the old bad news again, and that will end her quest. Ah, plus we'll finally get our next achievement. So there we are, we are in Richmond through Invencioni. So that's all Jill's quests done, so now we are going to go up to the treehouse. We're actually going to go to the very tippy tippy top of the treehouse, because that is where the monkey is. Not this monkey, this is just Penelope. Um So we need to get to the right to the very top, it's where the monkey is who's going to sell us the next bracelet. Now, th like I said earlier, the this is going to cost 500 Loot money, or lootany. Ah, we'll call it lootany, that's always good. Uh, and it can be a little bit sort of difficult to try and get up. Um, if you can try and just... Ah, damn it! Yeah, we just need to try and climb... Yeah, that, that doesn't help either. Um, yeah, just continue trying to climb up onto these branches. Um, th there is a certain specific way that we can do it. Um, I think I've done it the backwards way, but the backwards way seemed to work. So, there we go. However you do it, make sure to buy the next bracelet, which will give us a little bit more stamina. And again, hopefully you've got, as I said, at least 500. Or if you've been going around just smashing out the loot anyway, hopefully you've got a lot more. And with that done, off pops monkey nuts. And we will now fly over to the camera, chicky D. Camera lady -a. So glide your way over, press the B button if you want to just drop to your non-death because alligators do not break their legs um, or they don't die apparently, not from not from fall damage height anyway. Right, so uh, go ahead and speak once again to Eva. Oh, in fact, we don't need to speak to Eva. What we need to do is go to the tree directly in front of her, climb all the way up, scare the bird away and then head back. Not only does that give us another friend, which for me, I'm on 16 right now. Doesn't matter again if you're sort of one or two short, that's fine, or you got more. Uh, that's all good. But we also get her camera as well, so that's something else to buy at the very end of the game. Right, so next up, we are going to go past where Eva was. Um, effectively heading up and around this village. Well, I'll say village, this little area here. And we're going to speak to Gunsar, the hippo. So you go, all you got to do is just inter follow him and interact with him a couple of times, and he will be your friend. Well, my here, my work here is done. You didn't do anything, didn't I? Yes, that's what that reminds me of. Uh, so, Gunther is a friend anyway, after being quite possibly the worst sidekick in the whole Batman series. And there have been some crappy sidekicks. Um, so, just having a little loot around. Again, I'm still in the exact same area that I was. I was just uh, basically jumping from... Uh, effectively mountain to mountain here, and then eventually we're on this main path where we see this big wooden thing. This is the amphitheater where we're going to be getting, uh, we're, we're effectively going to be building absolutely everything. So after again having a little bit more uh, looking around and doing some more looting, as you can see, I got up to about 3,000. Um, so yeah, around 3,000. So again, if, if you've been doing some good looting here, Obviously, that's all good. Uh, as long as you're sort of close to what I am, that should be all good. We can now drop down. And uh, you don't actually have to speak to 
uh, Franny, big old Fran bags right there. But what we are going to do is drop down. Now, this is the main park area, what we need to build. And again, the way how you build these things are with more friends. So that's why we've been going around gathering as many friends as we can. So we're going to speak to old uh, uh, Twam, old time of the old Mantharuni. So if you go ahead and interact with the board right here, we can build our first idea. And again, that will cost a couple of friends. They normally do cost a couple of friends, especially the last two. They cost like 10 friends each. So that is why, as I said, while you're looting or just walking around, uh, make sure to do some of the friends quests and then you can come here and sort you out. So there's another one that's just poofingly appeared on oh, another one that's just poofingly appeared. My old Jill dogs. Uh, so we'll go straight to Jill dogs. So yes, providing you had at least 10 friends there, uh, that will help and that will sort out uh, big Jill's bit or small Jill's bit, sorry. So that'll do, that'll do. Uh, now, next up, now what I was actually trying to do here was... Um, just fly across. Now, you're going to see, uh, I think his name's Scotty or something, just chilling on a roof, uh, effectively opposite in front of us. So that's what I was trying to go for. Now, what I couldn't actually do was climb up because I kept getting stuck. So where we were just trying to get on the roof, you head down, have a look at Tom. Uh, and again, as long as you've got five friends, you can actually build this one as well. So again, that came in handy. And it just makes it easier to climb. And really, it's it's a good thing for us to get a nice view going of where the hell we're at. So if we do get lost, you can just come back to the middle of the map by following the big, huge antenna. And then get back up and you can see things in the distance, uh, basically, which you know where you're going. So this was the broski that we tried to get Oski. Simonski. Not Scotty. It's close enough. Um, and then if we just have a little climb up here. So as you can see, then, in the distance is those big old wind fan mills what are they called they are just windmills aren't they um so this is the next area that we actually need to go to in order to um complete the next main quest but of course we're going to be looking out for some friends like this robin right here so if you do end up getting lost somehow or you've gone off looting and you're like oh crap where am i just come back to the middle of the um the, i don't know what you want to call it the little town by following the big red huge antenna and then just uh, have a little look where you are. So this is the main quest area. So before talking to Martin, we're actually going to get the monkey, the next bracelet. And he's going to be right on top of this huge baggering windmill. Yeah, I see a baggering because it's a baggering windmill. So again, before going off and looting everything, um, as you can see by my loot, I did actually do that, and then it took me a while to figure out where the hell I was again. So, like, as I said, it's always it's worth just doing the main stuff first, and then nipping around and doing loot. Because, um, again, you probably know it's by now, but it can be a little bit easy to get lost. But as we climb up here, right on top, there's the monkey one. As long as you got 500, that's the third stamina brasalet done. And after you've done that, we can simply head back down to the uh, little water park here and speak to Martinos. Okay, so this is effectively it now for the main quest. Our quest to do is to follow these water pumps to different locations and obviously go ahead and pretty much do a little mini quest and turn them on. Right, so we're just climbing up sort of behind where we just started our first 
mission. Again, there is going to be loot all the way here as we just jump straight down and cross the river. Uh, so there's going to be, as, as I said, a whole bunch of loot, which uh, I ended up getting off screen because I went right off the track. And then again, it took me a little while to go, where the hell am I, bruh? Jesus. In that exact accent and tone. Uh, so again, smash out all the little bits of loot uh, in this area. And then eventually we will be able to head uh, straight in front of us. Well, actually not straight in first. That's the shadow weird shadow creature. Um, but eventually we are going to just nip off to the other side. Where there is another piece of loot. And there we go. Just drop down another one time. Uh, again, just making sure that if there's any more loot about, but you know where Lucas is, or whoever the hell this is, you're just going to drop straight down and speak to him. So all we're going to do then is ask a couple of questions and then do truth, doubt, or lie. So the first one we're going to go with is lie. So third option there, lie. You can see the sweat beating off his big old horse face. Next up, then, we're going to say truth when the uh, option appears. There it is. So top option, truth. And finally, we're going to go with the second option, doubt. So there we go then. Nice, easy start. Activating Duke's pump. Uh, just by answering some, well, very easy enough questions. Okay, so uh, what we can do, again, if you want to go ahead and uh, have a little bit of a loot around, that is obviously more than fine. As I said, we need to get them all anyway. Or we can just follow the tubes and head, um, well, I say he's back. What we're doing is climbing up this waterfall. And if we look to the back of us, uh, behind us, sorry, the back of us, uh, you can see this uh, shark. Shark looks really weird standing up there. So what we need to do then is basically go to the right-hand side of where the shark is, down at this waterfall. Um, now I actually jumped down. There's going to be a whole bunch of loot that we can grab here. So that's what we're going to do for a minute or five. So I didn't actually mean to jump off there, but uh, so we'll just climb up. But effectively, what we're looking for is the, a bridge, and the braces are underneath said bridge. So climb back up. There's the bridge. Um, so again, you can just go ahead and follow the... Uh, there's a bunch of water with obviously a waterfall at the top there, if you're wondering where they are. 
There is the spiky teeth boys. So go ahead, give them back to Sharkman Titus to get yet another friend in the books. Right, okay, so now we can just head back to the main water pump park pump area. Which, oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? That's where it is. Okay, so there's the main part while everyone else has gone off. Um, what we're going to do is head past the sign, sort of beginning entrance. Uh, if you just have a look up here then, obviously we'll be grabbing a pot. But the main one we're going to go for is jumping straight down. And again, there is a whole bunch of loot. If for whatever reason you do get lost, remember to just look out for these big blue tubes. No, not smarty tubes, the big old water tubes. And just follow them. So just climbed up there just to see if there's any more loot. But what we're going to do then is effectively now go onto this sort of river, this little bit of river. Now, we're going to need to pick up this uh, these bunch of cans later anyway. So if you just want to pick up, well, we need to pick up 10. So if you want to pick up 10 now, just to save yourself a few seconds or so, you can do that. Uh, but if not, it really doesn't matter because we're going to come back to this point anyway. So following the um, river the opposite way, just over the bridge. Uh, you can see all the junk for trash posters as well. We just continue to follow the water. You can probably see just in the distance where there is a bunch of loot. And that is where we need to go, just over to the right-hand side. Again, just popping up here just to see if we got any lootin' shootin'. Some flas lootin' dootin'. And since there's nothing quite up here, you can see the next bit of water. That's what we're going to head to in a sec. Um... But we're just going to go back on ourselves first. And take a right underneath this tube. Again, more loot. So, you know, flask loot and dootin', get them all. And finally, once you are very satisfied enough that you've beaten all of these cardboard warriors up, jump to the other side, and there he is, old Lucas, the old Pucas. So all we're going to say here is the bottom option to let's watch a nice DVD together. And that's uh, pretty much all we're going to do. Power fighters. Because of course nothing is cool unless it's got a Z instead of an S on the end. So, while we're here, make sure to grab Martin, the, um, yeah, the cardboard cutout of Martin, which of course is, well, it's always beautiful, huh? Meh. Okay, so if we have a little look here, we can grab, uh, quite a bit of loot before we head back and finish the last part of this quest.
And actually, if we do head up here, there's going to be another friend for us to um, to uh, save and rescue. Now, what? Uh, apparently, what you're supposed to do first is actually talk to him first and then destroy everything. But um, it, it doesn't actually matter because what he does is be a friend and he gives us a paintbrush, which you can buy a little later on as well. And obviously, sorry, I do apologize. I was smashing through the dialogue. But you choose the top option there. You give him some more money for destroying his stuff. And he gives us the paintbrush too. So that one is all good. Happy days. Yeah, pointy floppy thing. Sorry, that still makes me laugh. <laughs> Why am I such am's child? Okay, right. So again, once we are done with Leland... We are going to gain and grab yet another two friends. So we're going to head uh, down and go to the right. You can already see on the uh, both on the sort of wooden docks there is uh, two friends that we're going to grab. Uh, let me just grab these Luton Dooton Flask Luton Dooton real quick. I'll read, mate. I'll read. Let's go down. So what we're going to do first is speak to the sheep. And then we're going to go across to the other one to speak to the bull. Uh, effectively, you're going back and forth to speak to each character until the bull jumps in the water. Easy as cheese air. Plus, obviously, a little bit more loot as well. We're going to grab as well. I mean, you could have literally just pushed him in, but it doesn't matter. We've got another two friends. That takes our total, once again, hopefully up to 10. I say hopefully. Hopefully for you, it's up to 10. Because to get the next blueprint board done in the park, obviously, we need another 10 friends. So just before heading back, we're going up to the right-hand side. And if you have a look behind you, there he is. That's the guy we're looking for right there. So as you can see, he's quite close to the water. So we will speak to Sam. Now again, what he's basically going to do is uh, you, you just he keeps dropping his mega pencil. Why and where the hell is he sticking that pencil? Well, we'll just uh, probably hopefully never find out. But he's going to throw it up there. You go and get it. He's going to drop it on the beach. You go and get it again. And then he becomes our friend. Um, luckily, without that oversized pencil, whatever the hell he's putting that thing. Yikes. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Sam. So he's become our friend, and we've got an oversized pencil as well. Plus, obviously, there was a nice little bit of loot. Looting, fluting, that we were going to dootin' gooten. Oh, some more on the beach as well. So, again, just grab everything. Grab as much looting, dootin' as you can. And, in fact, we're going to go ahead and grab one more friend. So from where we are now, if you turn around, it's he's, uh, this guy is on the beach. If we turn around, you can see a bridge right there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and cross that bridge right next to the waterfall. And you can see Big Elephant Titus Man just chilling on the beach. So we're going to speak to him and then he's just going to be our friend. So it's all good. Uh, and well, he's going to be our friend because we destroyed everything on the beach. So like I said, uh, a lot of these friends, all you got to do is, um, yeah, just destroy the cardboard around and everyone's happy. So... 
if he's not your friend straight away, go ahead and destroy a lot of the cardboard loot around and then it's job done. Then we can climb up and start heading back. You can see the shark there, which we obviously have already done. So up we go, Mr. Mo. You wanna stop calling me Mr. Mo? No. Right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's crack on. We have done the second one. So now we need to do the third one. So head to the right-hand side uh, tubes right here. And then what we're going to do is make a jump for it over the right, uh, over the um, middle here, straight down into the middle. And again, it's just a couple of easy things we're going to do. And of course, as always, there's going to be a bunch of loot in this area. So go ahead and speak to Jada. Mm, Jada. Uh, we need to cut some grass, so just press the B button next to some grass, and then eventually we'll get enough clippings to make a nice beard for myself. Or, you know, a nice bit of hair for myself, since apparently the ones on my head don't fancy growing anymore. Yeah, sad noises. But I do bald real well. Right, so we've got the bucket after speaking to Jader again. Now, even though he's standing in water... It doesn't actually work. We've got to drop down and then actually fall into the water here. And that will fill that up. So, mm, okay. So go back and give the water bucket to Jada. Again, any any time you're going to see some loot, um, go ahead and grab it. Okay, so for the final one then, it's very simple. The massive, huge junk for trash sign right at the top there. Just go up and hit that about 6, 17, 18 times or so until it breaks. And that's, oh, okay, maybe three times then. I thought it was a lot more than that. Maybe not. So report back to Jada. That's the third one done. And then we can go ahead and this is going to finish Martinos's quest. Because now we've got a big leaf for pruning. So we can now return to the little splash pad. Now, if you have a look over here, now this is where one of the areas I came to earlier, um, there should be a lot of loot, I believe, just chilling around there. So again, go ahead and grab as much as you can. And then we can just uh, follow the tubes back and head back towards the splash park. Roar! Growing with water be complete. So that's the second out of three main quests done. And we've got a whole bunch of new friends as well. So that takes, hopefully if you follow in the guide, it should take your total up to 16. Or, you know, if you've got a couple less, that's also fine. Or if you've got a couple more, that is obviously even better. Um, so we've just climbed up here just because there's another bunch of... Or there normally is a bunch of loot. Um, which is just hanging around. For some reason, I forgot that I'd already just unlocked the uh, Growing With Water achievement. So from here then, um, now obviously what we can do before we head back into, before we start heading back to the middle, we're going to drop down. We're going to speak to Madeline. And again, you can just choose whatever option. It doesn't matter. Um, you can always be friends. That's another one down. So we'll just drop down to the beach. She should be walking around this general area. If you can't find her yet, do not worry a ting. And we're going to head, well, effectively now into the middle where we're going to speak to Robin. And, uh, oh, in fact, that's it. No, we're all good with Robin, sorry. 
So, yeah, heading back into the middle, into the play area, uh, which is not too far there. So, um, wh wherever you go, whatever you do, make your way back. And we're going to use the next blueprint. Again, you should have um, at least 10 friends. And the next one is going to be right here next to Martin. So, give this the little boost. Rawr, I am alligator. Rawr. Cute little alligator that would still snap your twizzlers off. Okay, so we're going to head up this slide right now. Um, we are going to do a little bit of climbing. And we're going to see the big radio tower. We don't actually have... I don't think we've got enough stamina to actually climb up the whole thing. But what we're doing is heading... Fr uh, basically the opposite direction of where the uh, tower is now. So... This was one of the areas where I actually got lost and decided to do a hell of a lot of looting. So you're probably going to be seeing a lot more looting or a lot more loot to loot than I do in this particular run. So we're just going to head up, continue heading up the cliffs. We are going to start heading towards the monkey. He's going to be a monkey again in just a bit with the fourth stamina bracelet. And he's going to be on one on one of on top of these cliffs. So, effectively, all we're doing while we're looting and continuing forward, we're just going to continue up these cliffs. This is the next main area, by the way. Uh, this is the... Um, no, this is the amphitheater. Sorry, this is the amphitheater. So, this is where we're going to get uh, sort of our next main quest. So, obviously, there's going to be a whole bunch of looting dootin', so grab all that you can and then continue your climb up. And once we climb this tree, we're going to turn around and there is the next and final monkey. And then after we speak to him, hopefully, again, you should have at least 500 Luton Dooton monies. Luton monies? No, loot. Well, whatever I called it earlier, Lutonies. And this will be the infinite power where stamina doesn't cost a thing anymore. So you can literally uh, climb to your heart's content, which is always nice. So we will see the monkey for five separate achievements later on. Um, yeah, you have infinite stamina, so that's all it takes. Uh, plus, you get the new monkey as a friend as well, so that should be eight for us. So again, while you're in this area, obviously, we're going to do uh, a lot of loot in here. Um, again, I'm still in the same general area, uh, but obviously, I've just gone and done quite a bit of loot in, so... Again, crack on and do a lot, and then we're going to drop down. Now, this is close to the main area amphitheater. Um, now, us speaking of Scooter, and uh, he is our friend again because we have gotten rid of the old uh, cardboard pieces right there. So, just showing you where he is then. He is literally on the path as we start heading down from this theater part. So, this is the next main quest. So, speak to these broskies Averys right here. And everyone's going to separate, and then we're going to go ahead and find them. Okay, so this part of the map might be slightly confusing as to where to go. It can be even easier to get lost. So, from Avery, we're going to head down. Again, there's Scooter, so if you haven't destroyed the cardboard and got him as a friend yet, you can go ahead and do that now, just to add to another friend. We're going to take a right through this little gap, and then we're going to take... Oy, sorry. And then take another right here. Again, there's going to be a whole bunch of loot on the way, so if you haven't already done this, so grab that. And then once you look down, you can see a bunch of cows running around. So what you need to do then is interact with each of the little cow kids. Then go ahead and speak to Velma. Or speak to Velma now. 
and then go ahead and speak to all of the kids. Basically, once you've spoken to all three of the kids, they are then going to sit next to Velma. And then you can speak to Velma again, and she'll head back. So there's that then. So nice and easy. Now Andromeda is literally from where we found Scooter. There is another um, froggy broski right here, which uh, again, if you've gotten rid of a lot of the loot and cardboards and stuff, she should become a friend. Uh, now Andromeda is basically at the beginning main area of the amphitheater. But Esme was a little bit harder to find. So Esme is basically in this cave um, where now it's kind of hard. It's generally a bit harder to explain from here. So what we're going to do is again, loot as much as you can. If you can find any more loot as always, of course, and then I'm just going to head back to the main sort of amphitheater part. And I'm going to show you from there. Um, as I just think that's a little bit easier because it's a bit confusing from this section. So again, now this uh, little part here, there's going to be a couple of guys, so obviously, as long as you looted, there's going to be another couple of friends to make. So just continue and carry on looting, dooting in. So, um, after you've done quite a bit of looting, you can see that we are back to where Scooter is, our one friend. So the amphitheater is off to our left. But if we start, if we continue heading down this little bit of hill, this is where the next uh, broski is, Andromeda. So he's very, you know, this one's easy enough to find. So he's going to give you a cheeky gun, which is uh, pretty cool, just makes things a lot easier. Um, just so we just need to defeat all the alien imposters first of all. And now he gives us a space blaster. So if you press the right bumper here, 
you can just go ahead and that just makes uh, getting rid of these Lutons a lot easier. So, uh, also, if you go ahead and speak to Andromeda, I got a, a quite ahead of myself and just cracked on. But if you speak to Andromeda again, you then need to defeat the spaceship and he will go back to the group at the uh, amphitheater. Again, I got a little bit of ahead of myself, started shooting stuff and completely forgot. Um, but that's okay because obviously we know where he is. He's right at the beginning here. So again, let's go and find Esme. And I just found it easier in order to show you, uh, sort of explain and show you from the beginning of the amphitheater here. So we will climb up a couple of trees. Uh, again, what we're looking for then is just a specific location. So that's why we're going to get as high as we can. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, so we're going to, obviously we're going to try and get as high as we can uh, just to see what we are looking for. And now what we're looking for then, if we head off here just to the right, this is one part that we're looking for. Now, if you interact with this guy on the bridge, because, again, we've gotten rid of all the pots and everything around, he will become a friend as well. So we'll just drop down here and get a little bit more loot. So if you're wondering what's going on then, we are following the path around to the right and it is actually just around the corner of where we're shooting is where we uh, basically need to go in order to save someone and get a balloon and for him to be a friend and to find Esme as well. So again, if you're having any sort of problems or struggle trying to, you know, keep up with the video because I know it can be a little bit of a pain, especially with a map as weird as this is. Uh, but the cave is just at the top there. That's where we need to go. So if you're having any problems, just um, sort of stick around with the uh, stick around with the sort of edge of the water until you come up to an area like this, where you can see a uh, broski hanging from the balloon. So that's what we're going to shoot. Plus uh, Darcy. Plus obviously we're going to shoot all the loot and get him out of the scoot. Sky. Ah, nuts. Uh, so anyway, once you have gotten rid of all of the loot and everything, go ahead and speak to Darcy, and Darcy will give us a balloon, which will come in mega handy. Plus, uh, it's good for a couple of achievements later on. Thank you for your balloon. Oh, what's all this wet stuff in it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, would, it, normally it'll go straight into your inventory as a left bumper or right bumper. Um, so, like I said, you can go ahead and once you press the A button on a different thing, it'll tell you, uh, it'll ask you whether you want it to go into your left bumper or right bumper. So, we get rid of the rocks there, we get a shooter, and we also get a ballooner. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Now, heading into this cave which is quite close to where Darcy is actually is like I said where we are going to find Esme Oh Esme a time to pound me turkey on my vacation away from worky so again we're just climbing up and obviously just grabbing as much loot as we can so as you can see there I've got 6601 apparently now now you think, oh, that should be plenty more than enough. Um, and it is plenty, but it's not enough. So even if you think that you've got plenty enough, yep, don't bother. Just keep collecting as much as you can. 
Okay, so, um, ah, just swapping up some things. There you go, that's easier. Right bumper with the shooter, that's always what we want. So eventually, we can now finally head into this little cave. And you can tell you're in the right area. I'll just try that again. Because you've got all these uh, the beautiful looking goth candles. I call them goth candles because they look like goth candles. But you can't beat them. Um, anyway, Esme's going to be on the chair and she wants some house crow. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we've got to do, because apparently she can't come out in the sun. <sighs> Neither can most ginger people, but here we go. We give it a go, don't we? And yes, I'm half ginger. Effectively, I've got a bunch of freckles on my face, so I can make that joke. Um, <laughs> you know, it's uh, I go redder than Dr. Zoidberg from Futurama in the sun, which is rather depressing. Well, everyone gets a nice golden caramel brown, SpongeBob and Patrick style. But never mind, anyway... After you speak to the ice cream vendor, you're going to go through this whole big message and, oh, there you go, apparently all of a sudden we've got six dollary dues right now. So we get an ice cream, go back, give it to our gothic bat vampire friend. Mm-hmm. Who love a goth girl? Sorry, uh, just, um, just uh, dreaming about nothing. Uh, so go ahead, give it to Esme and then you'll have a little ice cream and everyone's happy. I mean, hey, we all love a goth, guy, uh, goth girl and a goth guy until, uh, you know, they start pooping bats and uh, melting in the summer sun. But, uh, no, <laughs> I'm just joking. Nah, we're all cool, damn it. Okay, so, we can't leave the cave. Esme does not want us to leave the cave. Just choose sunscreen, top option. I think that'll be um, effectively all good. But that will now finally end this last quest. Now, you think... Uh, that once we go back, oh yeah, and apparently because I is stupid, we got to go back and find and get rid of Andromeda. Even though you probably would have done that when I told you to. So if you have done that, just head back to the main group um, after doing a bit of jumping and looting, dooting. Uh, just head back to the main group and that will end Avery's quest. And then we can just start mopping up the rest of the achievements pretty quickly. And in fact, what we're going to do, that this is the best reason for having a balloon, by the way. It just makes it easier to just fly up and sort of see where you're at. Uh, but once you get up here, on you can see the duck across the bridge as well, in case you're wondering where we're at. Uh, you speak to uh, Mocky Mocky, who is um, uh, one of the most delicious coffees in town. Speak to him after getting rid of all the loot and everything, and that'll be another friend. And then once you get rid of all this loot on the bridge... Go up to the next bridge and speak to El Ducken Flucken. I said Fluken. I didn't say the other word. I'm not a sweary guy. Because people have uh, people shouted at me before. And it made me cry.
Okay, so we are now into the area with big giant whale with a cute little cap on his head. Uh, this is basically every whale at SeaWorld. They, uh, yes, they do really look that depressed because it must be depressing being in one of those bloody tanks all day. Um, and being entertainment, being entertainment for people's purposes. Gets pretty boring after a while. Anyway, stick your bowling ball out and then if you actually go in front of the whale and press the X button, now, it looks like you're supposed to press the X button by the cap, uh, but no, that's that's not it. You go in front of the whale, press the X button, and that'll be another friend uh, sorted. Right, so what we're going to do now is, if we have a look, we can now start heading back towards... So you should just be able to see in the distance the uh, radio radioactive tower, the uh, radio antenna tower. So we're just going to keep remaining sort of as high as we can and collecting loot uh, wherever you can see it, wherever you can find it on the way, um, while simultaneously heading back towards the big cardboard town. Now, I don't actually end up getting this friend right here, but if you want to know what to do, all you got to do is glide across the water with your shield and glide across the water back. And then Samantha will be all like, wow, that's so cool. Let's be friends. So just in case you were wondering what to do uh, right there. Um, but otherwise, it is just a looting thing. Now, that's the, it's the only problem when you've got so much sort of... Um, hitting specific things in games. And when there's a lot to do, it, it it can make you feel lost and it can make you feel a bit frustrated when you go... You're just trying to get to a nice main quest and then you're like, oh, right, there's more. And then you're just trying to get to another main quest and you're like, oh, God damn it, there's more! Yes, but uh, it doesn't matter because, like I said, we're going to find everyone with the help of Jill in just a bit. Uh, so just stand ahead over to the right just before we head back just to see if there's any more loot. Which, of course, there is. Plus, of course, actually, there is Andromeda as well, because I forgot to uh, assemble with him. So assemble with him again, beat the mothership, and then we're good to go.
Yes, kings and queens, we have done the final main quest of the game. So, like I said, now, for the most part, there is a lot of achievements that we could just smash out quickly. But the two for finding all loot and dootens and um, uh, completing all friend quests, we are going to do. But it is obviously going to take a little bit longer. So, just think that you've got about potentially another half hour um, of doing things. So, first of all, we are going, just going to climb up to the um, antenna. Now, if you actually get your balloon out now... Now, I ended up doing a ragdoll here. Oh, in fact, I didn't even do the ragdoll part yet. Oh, So, there's two achievements, then, that um, you can get straight away here. If you just float up all the way to the top of the sky with the balloon, just make sure you've got ten friends here as well. Um, that'll get you the ascend achievement. And then if you get the ragdoll... Uh, which we got a lot earlier on um, and place that in your right bumper or left bumper you can actually just jump off from whatever hit it fast and then um, press the right bumper before you hit the floor that's another achievement but I'll show you those later on anyway so again for the time being it's literally just going to be a little case of uh, talking to our sister and then she's going to be like oh but I've got college work to do I can't have fun I'm college now Okay then, so this part, uh, you can't actually get any loot for these, so pretty much don't bother shooting them. Effectively, all we're doing is just following the sort of linear path through until we go ahead and hit um, bigger sort of cardboard cutouts of uh, us and I don't know. But anyway, just continue to follow the paths um, and yeah, there's nothing else to say or do for the time being. So you've got to give these a whack with your old trusty wooden sword. Although, I wouldn't, personally, if it was up to me, don't go hitting your sibling with your big wooden sword, because that's, uh, uh, yes, that's wrong. Pork sword or otherwise. Bleh!
Ah, see now, blood ting, your future can wait for just a day. Go and have fun, bros. Okay, right, so there's going to be a little bit of credits. I'm obviously just going to cut them down slightly, but they're going to take a few minutes. And once that has been done, um, yeah, we can now start cracking on with the rest of the achievements for the rest of the game. Plus, obviously, we get the achievement for effectively finishing the game. So there we go. Lesson learned in. That'll learn him. Complete the story for learning him. And she joins in here by uh, giving us a nice hat as well. So, what we're going to do straight away, we are going to turn to the right, head up the slide and speak to Avery, who is now going to give us the megaphone. Now, what the megaphone does, if you press it, it'll show you exactly where the uh, megaphone, yep. So, it'll show you exactly where the next friend's task is. So that's all good. Now, if you go ahead and speak to Jill right now as well, she will be able to give you the text locations of where all the loots are as well. So make sure to do that before you crack on. Um, again, I did do this in a little bit out of order, but that's why I'm telling you now. So just go ahead. Up onto the cathedral roof here is the um, monkey. So if you speak to him at least six or seven times, you're going to get five achievements. So just continue on talking to him until all five of the achievements have unlocked. So the last achievement out of the five should be this one here, Embrace the Unknown, which sounds like a class uh, and another Enter Shikari song, doesn't it? Um, but once we have done that anyway, and you've got all five of those done, we can now go ahead and smash out the rest. So now again, don't do what I do here. Um, now I go and buy everything. Um, oh, in fact, actually the rag doll you can buy, that's fine. Um, but everything else, don't bother buying just yet, purely because we need, as I said at the beginning of the guide, we need at least 3,000 lutonies in order to uh, pay Roy and buy a lot of Roy's things, the junk for trash guy. So do not waste all your money on here just yet. So, whatever you decided to do, hopefully you didn't buy everything just yet, and that'll be good. Because uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to put the megaphone in uh, either the left bumper or right bumper. Oh, in fact, we're going to go ahead and do the ragdoll first before doing that. So, uh, whatever you've done, like I said, before ragdolling, what I would highly recommend is um, float a balloon. So, get a floaty balloon all the way up to the top of the sky. Get the ascend achievement. And then what you're going to do then is just let go, drop down, press the right bumper now, just before you hit the ground. And that will give you the OOF achievement. Ah, uh, uh, that hurts me so much. Uh, I fly and now this is where I die by cutting the wall. That's so cute. Or hugging the wall because um, a lot of people don't know what a cutch is. Now a cutch is a is what all or the majority of Welsh people say. Um... They prefer a cutch over a hug any day. Uh, anyway, once you've got the megaphone out and you've popped that somewhere, just go ahead and press the left bumper. And now it'll tell you exactly where to go and what to follow. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing for the majority of the next part then. So here is the junk for trash guy. Now, as long as you've kept at least 3,000 lutonies, you, you can go ahead... Um, and uh, go ahead and speak to him and just grab everything that will basically unlock a new achievement but we're just going to go down to the water here grabbing as much sort of litter as we can you need at least 10 i think in order to get ray to be all like hey everybody loves raymond and make him love you basically 
So that should be, I think, more than enough. Now, uh, again, if there's any loot, just uh, uh, any loot that you may have missed, just go ahead and smash this one out. Um, yeah, just pop myself with the balloon there again. Oh, more loot. Oh, delicious. And a chest. That's nice. Right. So you go ahead and speak to our broski here. Now, what you're going to do, like I said, is buy a whole a bunch of things. And again, as long as you've got, I think it's probably about 2,600, 2,700, something like that. As long as you've got enough loot in these, you're going to buy everything. And you're then going to sit in a seat to get the under new management achievement. Because, as you can see, I'm slightly short in order to grab the annoying sticky thing. <laughs> if that's the case, uh, just go ahead and have a look. If you manage to talk to Jill as well, make sure to put her sort of power in, and she'll tell you where the next bit of loot is, or just fly around and have a look, because there is a ton of loot which we can grab. So, we got another new friend. We're going to sit in his chair anyway, regardless of how you've done it. And we get the under new management achievement, and then we're going to go... And and grab the achievement for basically being all sticky five times. <laughs> Sticking on a wall. So, uh, ooh, a nice bit of loot over here just to the left. So we're going to grab all these as well. Now, you need to make sure that you've got at least 500 loot uh, in order to get another friend into the town. Um, but again, by the time you're sort of wandering around and everything, you should have enough of that. So equip the sticky hand. Now, what you need to do uh, is effectively... Uh, just climb up sort of as far as you can and then just keep spamming the right bumper or whichever it is the right bumper or left bumper whichever one you've done and You yeah, that's how you do that. So you without touching the ground So just keep spamming the right bumper as far as you can on any wall and that will be that one So obviously what we're gonna do now then is just continue. I've edited obviously I'm gonna edit this down as well so all we're gonna do is effectively now just continue our way forward keep spamming the um, megaphone button, whichever one it is for you, and uh, continue following along where it is while obviously just having a look out for some loot and smashing as much as you can as well. So, this is, I believe, this is actually the last one that I ended up doing now. Um, but if you want to know uh, what to do, you don't actually have to hit all the stars. Oh, in fact, no, sorry, I'm showing you the Ascend achievement before we do that. Um, so, yeah, like I said, if you didn't get the Ascend achievement yet, just grab a balloon and then float all the way to the top until the achievement unlocks. Turbs the sky here. Okay, so there we go. We've got that achievement now out of the way. So if you speak to Pepperoni, <laughs> I like that name. But all you got to do for this one then is basically just... You don't actually have to hit all of the stars. You just have to go ahead and hit all of the monsters next to the stars. 
And this is the last one for me. And again, it's the same thing. You don't have to hit all the starboards. Just hit the skeletons next to the starboards. You know you've got to write one when you hear the little noise. So again, all you're doing then is using the megaphone, going from friend to friend, doing their tiny little uh, mini quests, mini side gigs, whatever you uh, want, uh, whatever you want to call them. And then eventually, whichever one is your last one, you will get a text, you'll get a skateboard here, and you will get the hero of the people achievement as well. So once you've done that, now, like I said, as long as you've spoken to Jill, and you get the ability to now message her, we're going to put the phone in wherever you put the megaphone. And we're just going to use Jill, and she will text us the next location of all the loots. Now, obviously, if you didn't end up speaking to Jill like I didn't earlier, just go ahead, head back to the main park, speak to Jill, she will give us the text, and then that's what we're going to do for the next sort of 10 to 15, maybe even 20 minutes. Um, you're obviously just going to press the right or left bumper, whichever one that you put the phone in. Jill's going to text, uh, Jill's obviously going to text you, and then she will actually show you the location of the next bit of loot. Um, now, obviously, you are going to have to have 10 friends, actually. Um, so as long as you've got the all of the friends, you should be good to go. And just pop the phone in, and that's job done. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. Oh, in fact, you, you don't need 10 friends, actually, do, because we're already done. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that's my bad. But there we go, then. So it's a case, there we go. So as soon as you press the correct bumper, uh, the, the right or left bumper, it, she will tell you where to go and what to do. Well, she doesn't tell you what to do, but she does show you the location. So it's literally just going to be a case, again, as I said, for about 20 minutes or so, or depending on how many loot that you've already collected. But that's all we're going to be doing now. And of course, once again, I have edited down because there's no point you watching me for 20 minutes because that's boring. Um, but once you and it's it's a chest, which is uh, fair enough. That's a, that's a good one to end on. But there we go. So we've broken everything, which is everything on um, all the loots. Now the last couple of things we're going to do is uh, well, we're just going to grab the last final couple of achievements. So now we should have more than enough lootany in order to craft everything. So you can just go into your inventory. Buy everything that you possibly can. And then that should unlock the demon of DIY. Definitely not talking to me because I am lazy and also pretty crappy at DIY. So, ha, ah, that doesn't work out well. But the final three achievements are for doing the specific um, costumes. So first of all, go to the very left, interact with the space dome, equip the space dome, then equip the laser sword, which uh, is just like a lightsaber. Then we're going to get the trash can lid, equip that, and also in the last one, equip the space blaster. So that's going to get you the big space alien get up first of all. Lizard in space. That sounds like a hell of a terrible movie, but one of those awesome cult ones that just get this big massive fan following. Very much like Tommy Wiseau's The Room. Um, so next up, the artsy beret. Then the paintbrush equip, so the Arty Beret, the, the paintbrush, the art palette. And then finally the, uh, what are we doing? The uh, paintbrush, no, the paint blaster, sorry, obviously. So once you've equipped those four, that's going to be the next one. Gator Angelo, that's always funny. And then for the final one, we're going to go all ninja. So if we head back to the very left, we are going to interact with the ninja headband. Definitely does not look like Naruto or anything. Uh, then the next one is going to be the Nunchaku. 
Then the next one's going to be the trampoline. And then finally, for the last one, you're going to interact with and equip the Shuryukan. Oh, sure you can. And that is going to be that. That's going to be all 22 achievements out of the little Gator game. So there we go. 22 out of 22 done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Now, I know, again, because of the lack of in-game map, I hope it wasn't too confusing and that the guide wasn't too bad. I, apology, I do apologize, though, if some bits were a bit uh, difficult to follow. Please don't hate me, though. Uh, but thank you again so much for watching. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide did help. And if, of course, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Uh, big shout out, as always, to all my Patreon uh, members, new and old, and YouTube members, new and old as well. And everyone who interacted with me on the daily. So thank you so much for watching again, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next Game Pass game. Big old love nerds.